In Acts chapter 3, we have the account of Peter and John going to the temple to pray. And as they go to the temple, they come across the man who was lame, who was sitting at the gate of the temple, who spent his days there begging for alms or for gifts to the poor. In verse 3, we see that he was asking Peter and John for alms. He was asking them to give of their resources to him so that he could likely feed himself, um, pay for you know, housing or whatever other things he needed. It says in verse 4, Peter, along with John, fixed his gaze on him and said, look at us. Verse 5, and he began to give them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. So when Peter and John said, look at us, this man did, and he was expecting something, but what he got was not what he was expecting. He was expecting them to give of their financial resources. And instead, they told him that in Jesus' name, they were calling him to rise and walk, and he was healed. And I think, when I think about that passage, I wonder what do people expect to get from me? What is their expectation in terms of my generosity toward them? Do they expect to get kindness? Do they expect to get um, you know, generosity? Do they expect me to point them to Jesus? And that's what Peter and John did. And it changed not only this man's life, but the life, lives of many, many others who saw what happened and who believed. As we go through our day, we know that many times people are expecting something of us. <clears throat> Let's make sure that we're not just giving the minimum. Let's make sure that we're not just doing something that will get them to stop expecting, that will get them to stop asking. Let's make sure that we are giving them something that will last for eternity. And that is pointing them to our Savior.